Not everyone is super comfortable with the Windows 10 start menu. A lot of us never quite settled with it and have learned to work around it rather than with it. But with OpenShell, you get to customize the start menu so it works better for you, giving you that old school Windows 7 feel or another look entirely. Here's how to create your own start menu using OpenShell. While the look of the Windows Start Menu has evolved and changed, it's functionally stayed largely the same. For those who love the Start Menu on Windows 7, the Windows 10 Start Menu can be unfamiliar to you. It is not very customizable and comes with features you might not want, like Cortana, and can even run into issues with search. To address all these long-standing problems, we've encountered a free open source app that you can download today to replace your Start Menu with one unique to you. It's called OpenShell. How to use OpenShell. First you'll have to download and run OpenShell's setup, which is available on GitHub. Simply follow the prompts and open the app. Once running, you'll be able to easily access OpenShell settings by right-clicking on your start menu icon. Loading into the OpenShell settings for the first time can be a little overwhelming, but here are a few of the tabs you may want to focus on. Located neatly within the Start Menu Style tab, you'll be able to select your style, a skin and customise buttons. These are the most major changes to your Start Menu and will radically reshape its look from the Windows 10 menu. Other tabs let you further refine and customise each individual bit of your Start Menu. Styles refers to the general format and layout of your Start Menu and you can choose between a classic Windows 2000 meets Windows Aero look, a two column style reminiscent of Windows 7 and then an actual Windows 7 style. The Windows 7 style is the only style of the three with options for skins, of which there are six choices. If you'd like to change the Start Menu icon to something more classic or to a custom image, you can do that with the Start Menu Style tab too. The other major tabs you want to have a look at when you're setting up your Start Menu are the Main Menu and General Behaviour tabs. In the Main Menu tab, you'll find many settings that relate to the screen you see when you open the Start Menu, i.e. the Start Menu's Main Menu. You can change things like how all programs, pinned programs and recently used programs work in your Start Menu, among other things. Thankfully, the larger tab sections of the Open Shell Settings menu are self-explanatory, so all the settings twiggable under the Main Menu tab will directly relate to the Main Menu and won't overlap much with other tabs. Unsurprisingly, the General Behaviour tab houses the General Behaviour Start Menu settings. This means stuff like how fast you can jump from menu to menu, how long it takes for an info tip to appear, how long it takes to drag drop something from your Start Menu to elsewhere, and lots more. If you don't know how fast you want your menu delay, for example, don't overthink it. Default settings aren't terrible, and you can adjust things if you notice something annoying. This is how the other tabs in OpenShell's settings page are best used. As you go about your daily digital life, you'll use your start menu. If you find you happen to start frequenting a certain folder or get stuck trying to access a certain shortcut in your start menu, you won't have to simply get used to it and you can instead pop open the OpenShell settings, jump to the relevant tab and tweak the necessary setting. Are you interested in having more control over your start menu? Do you prefer older Windows start menu iterations to Windows 10s? Let us know in the comments below. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.